In this movie, we'll have a look at how you could use drawing guides to help you draw in Sketchbook Pro. And we have Guides PSD open here. And I've taken this photograph and placed it in a background and brought the opacity down. And what I'm going to do is sketch over the top of it to create a kind of poster design. So what I want you to do is open up Guides PSD. And the first thing that we're going to do is select the ruler tool. Now you can also select the ruler tool by hitting the R key on the keyboard. But I've set up a menu item in my radial menu under Tools, which will also allow you to select the ruler and the ellipse. So you can either use any of those. Now, the nice thing about the radial menu is I can close the tool panel now and just use the radial menu wherever I am. So the ruler, basically what you do is you position the ruler roughly where you want it. You can rotate it and you can move it by using these little interface icons. You can also set start points and end points and then basically you just draw across the ruler okay then what we'll do is we'll rotate it around and maybe move it to here and draw along that edge okay and we'll do that again I'm gonna rotate it again this way move it over here and it's just like working with a real ruler you're just moving it around the screen especially when you use it with a Wacom tablet it's very very intuitive to use great way of getting straight edges and finally we'll do this one so we'll just move that up there rotate it around into position it doesn't need to be perfect we're just getting it roughly in position okay so we've got our plate marked now I want to do the cups, and this is just for a rough sketch, remember. So what we're going to do is switch to the ellipse tool. So I'm going to go to my radial menu and choose ellipse. And the ellipse, I can move over the area where I want to draw. This little control here will allow me to adjust the full size of the ellipse. This will allow me to rotate it, and this will allow me to fatten it, and then I can just move it into position and draw around it. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So I draw around the ellipse, and then I can move the ellipse down here and just make it smaller to do the edge of the cup there. We could even use it to create the handle and also move it down and make it a lot bigger so that we can do the saucer and that needs to be bigger that way as well as that way. Move it into position and create the saucer. Okay, and then finally, over here, rotate it, scale it both directions, draw the rim of the cup, and then we'll use it to draw the bottom of the cup as well, just moving it down a little. Okay, and then we can switch back to the ruler again, bringing up our ruler, and rotate the ruler around to here, move it into position and just trace those edges. I love this tool. I could sit and play with it for hours and I quite often do. Now if we have a look, now obviously I would then go and draw all the other elements and if I want to do that I can either click on the X here to get rid of the ruler or just hit on the tool again to get rid of it. And if we bring up my layers panel and just switch off this background layer, so I'm just going to hide it. You'll see I've now got the rough elements for my poster in place, and I can go and add text and start to hand draw the elements and fill them in with detail. So that's a little bit about how you can use guides to help you set up a composition in Sketchbook Pro.